Hello, welcome to the first episode of Choices. Uh, just one second. Well, uh, as you saw from the title, tune in every first of the month, uh, Choices, a monthly catch up of the news. Well, obviously, the news at the moment is, and it, the date is, I'll tell you the date. Uh, the 1st of March is that uh, Russia uh, is engaged in a, a war with Ukraine. Uh, at the moment, uh, I just hope and pray it'll be over soon. Uh, personally, I just feel at the moment we should just stay out of it for the moment and just see what happens, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, really, uh, I feel uh, tragically upset for all those people uh, involved in this. It's, you know, I mean, we've just been through a pandemic. The world doesn't need this, you know. We've just come through over two years of a pandemic and then we get this. Uh, the insanity of humanity sometimes, it just it just boggles the mind, doesn't it, really? Just boggles the mind. I mean, I believe in the alien life and other planets and stuff and that we've made contact. We're not ready as a species to know that. Uh, and if it is true that there's life on other planets, what the hell they must think of us? Because this whole planet is is like a speck of sand on a beach, and we spend all these research sources on war, 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 and who gets hurt in the end? The innocents, as always, you know. It just it's just insanity gone ballistic, to be honest with you, you know. It's madness, absolute madness. Uh, what have you? Uh, I hope and pray for all those people. I'm going to say a little prayer in there. Please, God, uh, let this war end. Uh, and let us find a way for all races to live together in peace and harmony. Amen. Now that's that one done. Just one second. Uh, right, segment two. Uh, segment one, which you just heard, it was the main news. This is segment two. This is this woke nonsense again. Uh, and I saw, I saw, wait till you hear this, ladies and gentlemen. I may have mentioned this on my channel. I do a lot of videos, so you, you forget. But there was a six-year-old uh, child in school, a boy. Another boy came in, dressed in a dress. And the boy... Didn't know what uh, was he male or female, uh, and he got accused of being uh, a transphobic. To me, the word transphobic has been used to stop any debate about transgender issues. To be perfectly honest with you, that's what, what have you. In my opinion, my humble opinion, they shouldn't be teaching uh, kids about transgender issues until the 15, 16, you can't comprehend it. The children, and especially a child of six. Of, uh, of six. Uh, and some of, the, some of the, the stuff you hear coming from Scotland about this sort of stuff is insane, you know. Uh, I mean, I hope I, don't, I, I hope I don't offend any of my Scottish viewers, but to me, I mean, Nicola Sturgeon is... It's become a bit like a communist country, hasn't it, under, under the SNP, really. Uh, but I'm sorry if I've upset anybody, you know, but I'm just being honest, you know. Uh, these are children. Children go through phases, you know, and what have you. And children shouldn't be given, whereas transgender issues go, under 16, you shouldn't be given any medication, you shouldn't have any... Definitely shouldn't be able to, uh, having any operations and stuff. So let them go through puberty until they're 16 and they can make up their own mind. If they made a mistake with that, they'd have to live that for the, uh, these, these people for the rest of their bloody lives. It's idiotic. I'm sorry if I offend any of my viewers. Let me clarify one thing. I've got nothing against transgender people. I've got nothing against, a guy, say, a man who transgenders into a woman. And calls himself Susie, Rosie, Nicola, whatever. And I'll call him that. I don't have a problem with it. You know. 
or a woman who transgenders into uh, a man. I don't have a problem with that. But there's a lot of transgender people who've had the operation, men who transgender into a woman, are sick to death of this as well. A lot of them say, well, yeah, I'm a transgender woman, but biologically, I'm still biologically male. You can't change your biological sex. You know, this isn't just me speaking, this is doctors saying the same thing. It's in your bones, it's in your DNA. It's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. And this non-binary stuff, it's idiotic. I saw someone tell you, well, I don't feel like a woman today. I don't feel like a man. I'm non-binary. Uh, it's nonsense and there's a hundred genders it is not a hundred genders it's male and female it's as simple as that you know uh, honestly anyway right uh, one second and we'll get to segment three <clears throat> segment three this this program choices is done in segments so this is segment three celebrity stuff well, uh, uh, what can I say? I'll start off with Gary, Gary Lineker. <clears throat> now, Gary Lineker, to me, I liked him as a footballer. He was an amazing footballer. You know, a member in the World Cup. Amazing. But since he's joined the BBC, right, Gary Lineker, he has gone all woke. Uh, and do you know, he's getting over a million pounds a year. He is. For working for the BBC. That is public money. Taxpayers, when we don't have a choice and we don't want the BBC. It should be a streaming service, the BBC, in my opinion. So we can cancel it, and I would cancel mine. But Gary Lennox can get, should get, for the BBC, 100,000 a year. And that is is net 100,000. That's all he should get. He's making, he's no doubt making money with walkers, with those crisps. You know, as well, it's wrong, wrong. Anyway, uh, what else? Katie Price, right? To me, Katie Price is a, is a great mother to Harvey. She's a great mother. I don't think Katie Price has ever got over Peter Andre, to be honest with you. But uh, with the greatest respect to Katie Price, she's still a beautiful looking woman. But she's getting to that stage, she's had that many, that many facelifts now. She's getting to that stage where you can tell she's had faceless. You know, but I mean, you look at the head there, you can't see any wrinkles, you know, uh, any wrinkles whatsoever, you know. I did hear a rumour, uh, this is to lighten the mood slightly, I did hear a rumour that Cher, the actress and singer, has had that many faceless, she started shaving. <laughs> Sorry, better like you, we need it in this situation, right? Anyway, uh, next, Kerry Katona. Now, I like Kerry Katona. Yes, she's made mistakes. She had a terrible upbringing. Uh, she had a heart broken with Brian when he left her. For an, uh, when he left her. And that's probably why Brian's uh, app first CD didn't do too well, because the public took Kerry's side. Uh, but uh, she's a good actress, uh, Carrie Catona. People don't realise she did these uh, two, uh, this thing called uh, Showbands in Ireland. It was two films, but he chopped it in two to make four episodes of it. But brilliant, Showbands in Ireland. Watch Carrie Catona in that if you can get hold of it. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. She's an amazing actress. She should be on Coronation Street, in my opinion. Uh, right, uh, what else? Uh, well, that's it uh, for this first episode of Choices. It comes out once a month. Uh, just one second, just one second. It comes out once a month. Uh, so tune in once a month, the first of every month. Tune in every first of every month, Choices, a monthly catch-up of, of the news. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, everybody. Try not to worry. Don't watch too much news. Uh, there's lots of uh, lots of reviews coming up on this channel. So thank, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of uh, Choices. 
and uh, God bless you all. See, uh, see you on the next one.